Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Often when we're out shooting, there's a combination of light and optics which will cause our images to have a very distinct color cast. And often, that color cast is very difficult to correct in post-production. For example, I have this image here, and you can see it has a distinctive blue color cast. Now, the color cast isn't always blue. It really could be any color whatsoever. It is dependent on the environment. But for this image, you could see it's blue. And the way most of us would go about trying to correct this color cast is take the image in an application such as Lightroom, go to white balance and use the eyedropper, the drop down, or even the sliders and try to get rid of the blue. Often, you'll find that it's folly. It's just impossible to get rid of the color cast. Well, there is a technique I'm going to show you using Photoshop that works just about every single time. Now, obviously, I'm inside a Lightroom. I'm inside a Lightroom for a reason. I know that many of you subscribe to the Photographer's Creative Cloud Package from Adobe that includes Lightroom and Photoshop, but you're intimidated by Photoshop and you really never open it up. Well, I want to show you how easy this is to do. So even if you're a Lightroom user exclusively, you could take the image from Lightroom, go into Photoshop, correct the color cast, then come back into Lightroom. Now the video isn't just for Lightroom users. If you use another application like On One Photo Raw, Capture One, uh, Luminar, anything, you could take the image into Photoshop and do exactly what I'm going to show you in this uh, video. All right, so we have the image. It has the blue color cast. We're in Lightroom. I attempted to correct the color cast with white balance, but I was unsuccessful. So what I'm going to do is take the image into Photoshop. To do that, I'm simply going to right click right on the image and I'm going to go down to Edit In and over to Edit in Adobe Photoshop 2020. And by the way, uh, the technique I'm going to show you works with every version of Photoshop I've ever used. And I think I started around uh, CS5 maybe, CS4 even. So um, this, even if you're using an older version of Photoshop, what I'm going to show you will work. All right, now we have the image in Photoshop. We need to duplicate the background layer. To do that, if you have a Mac, hit Command-J. If you have a PC, hit Control-J. So you can see over here we have a duplicate layer. Now we want to blur this layer. So go up to Filter, down to Blur, and over to Average Blur. And what that will do is it will just average out all the pixels in the image and give you a uniform color like it did here. And you can see that it's just covering up our image. But there's two more steps. The next step is we're going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and then we're going to go down to Invert. You can see that that has a keyboard shortcut of Command or Control I. So remember that, that's a lot easier than going up to the menu. So we're gonna invert this. And you can see as soon as I do that, we have the inversion, the inversion of that color we just had. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the blend mode for that layer. And we're going to click on the little drop down and we're going to change it to overlay. And you can see when I did that, it corrected the color cast. There's before and there's after. Now, at this point, one of three things may have occurred. You either will have a perfect conversion and you're done. Or you'll have a conversion that went too far one way. Now, I started out with a cool image. And one could argue that this image is a little bit too warm. Now, you could start out with a really warm color cast, and maybe you went too far the other way, and you'd have now a, an image that is really cool. Either way, if that happened, it went a little too far, all you need to do is go to the opacity uh, section of that layer and just bring opacity down. Now, you can look at mine. It, it might be just a tad warm because the clouds aren't perfectly white, so I could go to opacity and I could um, just bring opacity down until the, so those clouds are white. And then you could say, well, that's pretty much a perfect um, color cast correction. There's before and there's after. Now I mentioned there's one of three things uh, could happen. It could be perfect or it could have gone too far one way. If you started out with a cool image like I did, it, it, it came back a little bit too warm. Or if you start out with a really um, 
warm image, it might come back a little bit too cool. If those two cases happen, you just bring opacity down. Well, the third thing that could happen is it just didn't um, correct it enough. You still have the same color cast, but just not as strong. Now to simulate that, I'm just going to bring opacity way down. So let's just pretend that this corrected it a little bit, but not enough. So there's before and there's after. You can see it still has a bit of a blue color cast. If that happens to you, very easy. You just have to run the sequence over again. But first you need to flatten the layers. So to flatten the layers, go up to Layer and down to Flatten Image. So now we're right back to our background layer. It has our partial color cast correction done to it. Just do the same procedure. Duplicate that background layer by hitting Commander Control J. Go up to Filter, Blur, Average Blur. Invert this layer, or this color now, by hitting Commander Control I. Remember that was the keyboard shortcut. Then go to the drop down and go back to Overlay again. And then if needed, go to the Opacity um, Control and bring the Opacity down. So it's correct it up a little so there's before and there's after so we corrected the color cast now when you're done in Photoshop what I found the easiest way to get the image back into Lightroom is just quit Photoshop go to Photoshop and quit Photoshop on a Windows computer just quit Photoshop the way you would normally do but then make sure that you click on save and when you do that it will save our work and it will open up back in Lightroom now when it's back in Lightroom, you'll have two images. You'll have the original image with the color cast, and then you'll have the color cast corrected image right there. And you could just continue your processing in Lightroom from this point forward, or in any other application you happen to use if you're not using Lightroom. So that's how you correct a color cast using Photoshop, and it, it, it works really every time I've ever tried it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.